Hey what's going on guys welcome to top 10 In today's episode let's have a look at how to configure DDWRT in client mode This setup is not a wired connection but a wireless connection between two routers One router acts as a master access point and our DDWRT connects to it and again acts as another access point So moving on to the setup Open up a web browser and log into your router. My DDWRT is currently on IP 192.168.2.1, connected over LAN with Ethernet cable. So here's the router's configuration page. Now we need to reset the router to set it up in the client mode. For this, go to Administration, Factory Defaults. Click here on yes, next to register factory defaults and click apply settings, then click ok on the dialog that appears. The default IP for DDWRT will be 192.168.1.1. Now open up the terminal and ping to 192.168.1.1. To see if it is alive. While doing this, disconnect the Ethernet cable and reconnect it to know when it is available. After the ping is successful, log in to the router by entering the IP 192.168.1.1 on the web browser. If you don't want to ping then you can just wait for some time around 30 seconds for the router to reset to factory settings. Now enter the new credentials for the router login username and password. Once you have logged in to your router using the new credentials, have a look around the pages. To configure on client or repeater mode, go to status, into wireless and site survey to check all the available access points. Now join your main access point and under basic settings change the wireless mode from access point AP to client. And click on save to save the changes. Then go to the wireless security tab and change the security mode to that of the access point you want to connect to. Here WPA2 personal in my case. Enter the necessary credentials and click on save to save the changes. Once you have done that, go to basic settings and under virtual interfaces section, click on add in order to host a new AP. As we want to host a new access point, leave the wireless mode as access point and click save. Now give a password to your new access point by going to wireless security, select the security mode and fill up the desired password. Then save the changes. Now go to basic settings and change the WAN connection type to automatic configuration DHCP and make sure that the DDWRT's IP doesn't conflict with the main access point's IP. Save the changes and now as you can see the internet isn't working. Now let's reboot the router by going to the administration and clicking on reboot router. Voila! 
you have got internet through your DDWRT as a client with just power on and no wet area network connection to it. You can check your wireless modes from the status page. Auth 0 is in client mode. And Auth 0 0.1 is in access point mode. So that's all for this episode guys. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more videos like this in the future. If you have any queries, just write down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay cool and stay creative.